go and look for somebody or she wants to do what? To join hands. Who are we deceiving? As we are seated here, do we have peace between one another? Do I have peace with you? Do you have peace with me? What do I say about you in your absence? As co-workers, fellow leaders of the church of God, do we have peace between one another? We work together in the same office. Oh, we have come to adopt as our, this as our team. Working and praying together for progress. But how can we have progress? How can our prayers be answered without peace between one another? I want to believe that one of the greatest stumbling blocks, obstacles to our prayer life is lack of peace between brethren. Lack of peace between brethren. Yes, there can, we cannot work together without disagreement. But we disagree to do what? To agree. Not to disagree and continue to disagree. Not to disagree and continue to live as enemy. Not to disagree and continue to backbite, speaking evil of the other person. With the same tongue that we want to depopulate the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Satan, the same tongue we are pulling one another down. And yet we want God to answer our prayers. Brothers and sisters, God expects that if prayer is going to produce the required result, if everything we have learned these two days we produce the required result, I think the Ministry of Reconciliation should be taken serious. Even among pastors, among leaders, what do we see of our leaders? If the convention president is not there, what am I saying about him? If I am not there as one of his subjects, what is he saying about me? We are, we have multi-staff ministry. When the senior pastor is not around, what do we say about him and the family? Those things we say behind one another, can we be bold to say it when we come together? People of God, this Three dimension of peace needs to be looking into and be taken serious if prayer is going to be an effective weapon in the hands of believers. The scripture says, any kingdom that divides against itself cannot what? Let's be sincere. As a church, are we united? As an association, are we united? As a conference, if there is an instrument to test the degree of our unity, of the harmony amidst us, are we going to pass that test? As a convention, are we united? There is the need for us to pray that God in his infinite power and mercy will help us to foster unity among one another. Jesus prayed in John 17 that they may be one. People of God, we cannot continue to speak evil of one another. We cannot continue to backbite one another and expect peace. We cannot continue 
to use our mouth to pull one another down and expect God to answer our prayers. More so as ministers. I don't know any other denomination that believes in priesthood of every believer. You as a priest, your partner as a priest, myself as a priest, we carry the priestly anointing. And under that anointing, we do things that brings division. Things that separate us and the devil continue to have his way. People of God, if the church will be united, if the church will pray for peace and ensure peace within a perimeter, within an area of influence, we are unstoppable for the enemy. A while ago, she was talking about binding and loosing. Is that not prayer? That is the key. I cannot overemphasize the need for peace between man and man. And I put some reasons why Christians must live at peace with one another. Number one, God commands it. God commands it. In Jeremiah 29, 17, the scripture says, Seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away as captive, and pray to the Lord for it. For in its peace you will have peace. In Isaiah 26, verse 12, Lord, you will establish peace for us, for you have also done all our work in us. The law commands that we should live at peace, we should walk towards peace. Jesus Christ is also the Prince of Peace. Christianity is all about peace. Acts 10, 36, Ephesians 6, 15. As Christians, we are ambassador of peace. I love this one. Peace makes so winning convenient. If the church is going to win the lost world, there must be peace within the church. We are the book the world is written. As Christian, individual families, as a church, and as a denomination. Last but not the least, why it is difficult to live at peace. The world does not know the way of peace. And what they don't know, it will be difficult for them to practice. And when we use the word world, what about those of us that are already inside the church? Have we learned the way of peace? And have we committedly imbibed the way of peace? Another reason why it is difficult to have peace because the scripture says, as much as it depends on you. So, Apostle Paul was conscious of the fact that it may not all that be easy. But that does not mean it is impossible. So, if we are able to realize some of this reason, as we relate with one another, it will be quick. It will help us to quickly resolve our differences. Because of differences in value system or standard, there are bound to be some disagreement. But if I'm able to understand the value system of the other person and acknowledge it for him or her, is a way to foster peace. And we should not forget that the gospel itself is offensive. When I tell you that Jesus is the way, I'm telling you that that which you are doing is not the way. You are not getting it right. No matter how persuasively, systematically that I'm presenting it, the bottom line is still that I am saying that my own is the best and the right way. And so if we understand it that way, that the gospel itself is offensive, we cannot con but continue to pray for the grace to live at peace and to ensure peace in the land so that the church can thrive. 
Let me conclude and I want to read my conclusion so that we can go to pray. If we must live at peace and be progressive in life and ministry, it is imperative for every church worker to understand who he or she is and to personally discover where he or she is serving. This knowledge will promote serious prayer life, intimacy with God, and enhance harmonious living among men. The Holy Spirit is always available to help us in as much as we are willing